Hey, this is Ryan from WebEminence.com. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to try to make this a short one. I wanted to show you a great option for filtering spam for those of you who have your own email address on your own domain name. For email addresses on Gmail and Yahoo and other free email accounts like that, they have built-in spam protection, so you have a spam folder where most of your spam ends up. But for those of you who have your own email address on your own email hosting and domain name, usually you need to figure out a method on your own for filtering your email address. Uh, and if you use Outlook, Outlook Express, Thunderbird, Windows Mail, or Windows Live Mail to receive your emails, uh, Spam Fighter is a great option for uh, taking care of your spam. The reason I can recommend it is because I've been using it for about four years. Um, before that, I used to just delete spam emails manually. Um, using Outlook Express and it got to the point where I was spending so much time in a day deleting spam that I investigated um, options for filtering spam automatically. And I found Spam Fighter and I've been using it for about four years so I recommend it because it's good. You can read more about them at SpamFighter.com. Uh, if you want to do me a favor you can go through my affiliate link which is WebEminence.com slash SpamFighter I'll actually get a small commission if you go through that link, so I'd appreciate it. But their website is great. It gives you a lot of information about their software. Uh, they're an award-winning company based in Denmark, but they have several offices. They're a partner of Microsoft. You can see here some of the awards they've won, so they're an established company. But the important thing is, is their software works really well. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to download and install the software and also show you how it actually works. Spam Fighter basically works because it's such a large community. You can see here there's about 8.5, over 8.5 million people using the software and every time one of the members gets a message in their inbox that they consider spam, they can simply report that message and as a result the sender will be blacklisted and no one else within the Spam Fighter community will receive emails from that person. So it's really powerful when you have that many people within a community reporting spam. So an individual member will rarely receive a spam message in their inbox. And I found that to be true using it over the last four years. So let's go ahead and install it on this machine, which is running a new installation of Windows Live Mail. And then I'm going to move to another computer where I've been using it for several years. And you can see exactly how it's working in my email accounts. So once you get to their homepage, again, you can go to webeminence.com slash spamfighter to get to this page. And they should have a download link on the page. And you can download the file, save it, and open it once it's downloaded. And go ahead and run the installer. So it says the installation was successful and click finish to exit the wizard. I had to click through a few screens and enter my email address on one screen, but overall it took um, probably less than two minutes. So if I click finish, looks like it's going to take me to a Spam Fighter, um, some kind of thank you page. Now Spam Fighter has a free version and a paid version, so I just basically installed the free version. So you're going to see how that works, but if you were to buy it right now, uh, it costs about $30, 30 US dollars for a one year subscription. Uh, that's typically what I do. Um, but I'm going to show you how the free version works and what the limitations are. So after the installation of Spam Fighter is complete, you can open any of the email clients that I mentioned and you're going to see a Spam Fighter toolbar at the top here. There are a lot of limitations to the Spam Fighter standard free version, which you can see here. Uh, for example, the pro version will protect multiple email accounts on your computer. Also gives you the right to use a spam fighter in a business. Otherwise, you're only supposed to use it for personal use. Another big limitation of the free version is that it adds a spam fighter footer to all your outgoing emails. So at the bottom of your email, it will say, I use spam fighter. Uh, and it also will have a link to spamfighter.com. So for most people, it's worth the $30 per year to get rid of that footer in all of your outgoing emails. Okay, now I'm on my other computer, 
uh, where I have Spam Fighter installed and it's been working for uh, about a year in this account. So I want to show you what it looks like again. I'm in Windows Live Mail and up in the upper left hand corner is where you see the Spam Fighter tools. If you click more you get some options and then I'm going to click on options to open the main Spam Fighter uh, control panel where you can see uh, some of the options they give you and if you look in the overview it gives some statistics down here so right here you can see the number of emails that have been processed and it's about 26,000 and of those 26,000 uh, 12,000 have been blocked as spam so they give you a ratio here I'm, I had about 48 percent of the emails I received were spam so I didn't have to manually delete any of those they just went to my spam fighter folder over here which I'll show you so if we go back into my Windows Live Mail and look at my email account, you'll see I have a Spam Fighter folder and that's where all the spam messages are. So you can see all the spam messages that have been filtered. And if you scroll through here and find that there's a message in your Spam Fighter folder that should have been directed to your inbox because it's someone that you would approve receiving an email from you can simply click the unblock button and that's going to add that sender to your whitelist so that you'll receive emails from them in the future and if you go through your inbox and you find that there are messages that are spam you just simply click the block button and it's going to add those senders to a blacklist so that you don't receive emails from them any longer and other members of the Spam Fighter community no longer receive emails from that person either. Now the idea of Spam Filter software is not to be clicking block and unblock all the time, but you really want to be able to set it and forget it. And I've really been able to do that with Spam Fighter. I pretty much install it and I never really think about it. Every once in a while I will go in Spam Fighter folder to make sure there's no emails in there that I should have received but to be honest I don't think I've ever found any in there so it's never really been a problem for most people it's going to be as simple as just spending a few minutes to install it and then you'll never have to do anything with it again you'll just notice that whenever you receive mail the spam email is going to be filtered to the spam fighter folder so that's all there is to it don't need to spend a lot of time on this because it's pretty simple just wanted to show some of you out there how it works I have had a lot of clients ask me um, how they can filter spam so I wanted to show you the way I do it and show you how spam fighter works if you have any questions feel free to post a comment on this video make sure to subscribe so you can see some future tips for useful software like this and we'll see you on the next video